three qualifiers to the grand final. Eight riders have been whittled down to three over ten qualifying sections split over two rounds. And the result of it has been to send our three FIM medalists from 2023 into the first grand final of 2024. Familiar faces then, Tony Bowe, Jaime Busto and Gabriel Marseille. Top three in qualifying, Marseille only just making it through on 11 marks, one ahead of Matteo Grattarola, but that is enough. Only problem for him is that he's now got the disadvantageous first starting position in section number one. The good news for him is that this section is one of two that are totally familiar from earlier on in the night. Sections one and three will now be tackled in both directions. The round one configuration and the round two configuration to be used here. Um, that Marseille also has the opportunity to fight his way out of the disadvantageous first starting position because the starting order will be shaken up based on the results of each completed section and the pecking order after each completed section as per last season but with a slight modification we'll be looking at the uh, previous sections results to split riders on tie break and that might be on time if necessary so time also playing a factor here Gabriel Marseille into section one longer sections in the grand final more difficult sections and only one minute for both directions sections one to three are in both directions 30 seconds used for the first half that's how they did it in round two this now is how they did it in round one round one where Gabriel Marseille dropped a mark actually in uh, this section clean so far but with only 11 seconds remaining he's dropped down onto the sump there first drop mark of the grand final for Gabriel Marseille that's because he's in a rush two drop marks now slips back onto the sump it's not given as a third he gets off lightly there Gabriel Marseille given two in the first section of the grand final must have only just made it home on time So a slightly stuttering start then for Gabriel Marseille to this grand final. Sets a target of two marks. Marseille, who has been second here on a couple of occasions to Tony Bowe. Was a strong performer, particularly after the summer break last season. Came back really strong. And Madrid and Valde work to do though third seeding position in this grand final Jaime Busto up next he was clean in round two this outbound direction but he like Gabriel Marseille dropped a mark in round one through here that direction still to come Jaime Busto has been close to being a match to Tony Bow thus far tonight Dropped a mark more than him in section one and section three in round one, and then one mark more than him in section three of round two. And that's it. That's all there's been to split them thus far. Low scoring X trial in the, uh, the 10 qualifying sections. Might be more marks. Well, there will be more marks dropped here in this grand final. Similar in terms of time compared to Marseille. 10 seconds to go. It's going to be tight. Busto remains clean. Busto remains clean. Superb performance in the first section of the grand final from Jaime Busto. Well, that will have put the cat among the pigeons. The pigeons are the two uh, Repsol Honda riders, that's for sure. They're the ones who will have their feathers ruffled by Gas Gas man Jaime Busto. Trying to split up the uh, homogeneity at the top of the Repsol Honda trial team reigning world champions and the team that have dominated this championship through Tony Bow, of course. Bow with 17 consecutive world titles of all of, and all of them in Repsol Honda colours. And set to extend his stay with the team as far as the end of 2027, unless he decides to retire earlier than that. At the moment, no signs of stopping. 
37 years of age and riding as well as ever. Outbound direction in section one then. But Tony Bow, a little bit shaky on the landing there, but he is trying to make up time. And he's got a little bit more in his pocket than either Marseille or Busto did at this stage. Bo cannot afford to drop any marks, or Jaime Busto will move clear of him at the top. Looking to match Busto then with a clean. Busto gets the chance to heap the pressure on Bo by running out before him. Bo is down. Single drop mark. Onto the sum. Busto was clean through there. And Jaime Busto takes the lead of Extra Barcelona. And he takes the advantageous last starting position. Marseille Bo Busto will be the starting order for section number two. Jaime Busto leads in the Catalan capital. The home rider Tony Bo, born in the city. Jaime Busto from the Basque country and uh, Gabriel Marseille from Galicia. A couple of visits to uh, Spain in the 2024 World Championship. Uh, Extra Pamplona now confirmed for the very end of the year in, uh, in November. Return to Navarra. Section number two then for Gabriel Marseille. Trails Tony Bow by one, trails Jaime Busto by two. Outbound direction, brand new for the grand final. The return is a repeat of what we've seen earlier in the night. First step, was that a mark for leaning there? Yes, it was. It looked like Marseille had dropped down onto the sump. This is a, a potential hazard as well. That uh, sharp corner angled against the riders. Propped up below. Marseille in a bit of trouble. Well, I thought that the front tyre had been caught by the minder, but the uh, observer didn't seem to see it. And now... Marseille has uh, dropped out of the side of the section. I think the referee must have advised the uh, section observer eventually, but the assistant had to catch the front forks there. Marseille was stuck at the top, landed on the sump, leg was awkward, position of the bike was awkward. So seven marks now for Marseille from two sections. First failure of the grand final for Gabriel Marseille. Tony Bow next up. Single mark, first time out, hence dropping behind Jaime Busto in the standings. Bow, having dominated the two previous rounds, has two World Championship points already in his pocket. But if he's beaten by Busto in the grand final, he will go behind him, of course, in the championship. Section two. Oh, and Tony Bow's got it wrong. Now, did his foot touch that module on the way through? Looks like he's been given two marks. So is that one for leaning and one for footing on his way through? That's going to be another for leaning. So Bo now on to three. And he's still got to complete the outbound direction and do the return direction. First step not going to plan for Tony Bo. Neither is this grand final. Busto already leads him by a single mark after section one. And Bo must be clean from here on in. 25 seconds for the return direction. And it's rush now. Of course, he has already uh, completed this earlier in the night. Riders had to touch all of the highest points and make a, a drop down there onto that middle module earlier on. They don't have to do that in the grand final. In the return direction, they can just race on through as they did in the, the speed run round two. Three drop marks there for Tony Bow. Moves him on to four. He'll be hoping that Jaime Busto fails this one, which would give him the lead. But otherwise, Busto will still be in front after section two, a third of the way through the final, if he can make it through this one clean in section one, the only clean in the grand final so far for Jaime Busto. 26 year old, three times extra winner. Paris 2018, Tony Bow riding with a back injury. Andorra La Vigna 2022 and Wiener Neustadt last year when uh, after the second round of the season, Busto looked like he was a championship contender. He failed, faded later on and by the end of the season, Marseille was also putting him under pressure on Busto. Does come down in the same place as Marseille. So <coughs> Tony Bow takes the lead of this grand final. Busto five. 
Tony Bowe, the only rider to have made it through both of the opening two sections. So although he wasn't happy with his section two performance, he is your new leader, a third of the way through the grand final. Bowe on four, Busto on five, Marseille on seven, our starting order for section three. We're back to where we started at the beginning of the grand final. Still only three marks separating the three riders. Section three. Round one direction first, and then round two direction afterwards. Only Marseille, Busto and Bo actually completed this section in round one. The others all failed it. Difficulty level is high on this first step. Difficulty level of this section in particular, very high. Section five also extremely difficult. Marseille is up this first step in section three. Like lurching forward, I think quicker than he wanted it to. But anyway, a single drop mark for leaning on that first block. That's going to be another. No, Marseille is down. A five for Gabriel Marseille in section three. Well, if it had happened later in the section, then you might have forgiven it. But that was a section that Marseille completed in round one. He's fived it in the final. 12 marks now. He will be... First out in section four, which is a brand new section and with a massive opening step as well. Marseille really up against it tonight. Doesn't look as though he's going to uh, fight Tony Bo to the finish as he did in the last two rounds of last season. Where actually, you would have said Marseille was almost the man to beat. Six times extra runner-up Gabriel Marseille. Beating Jaime Busto for another second place might well turn into his target from here. He'll be hoping for slip ups from Busto and Bo now in section three. Just to remain in contention. Halfway mark from Marseille, he's on 12. Oh, nice from Busto on the first step. Up on the back tyre, avoids dropping a mark for leaning. Still clean in section three, Jaime Busto. Pressing on again. He knows he's got a rush. Time is a big factor in the grand final. Double length sections, sections uh, one, two, and three, of course. Busto receives a rousing cheer from the crowd. They're happy with what they've seen. Marseille failed. Busto takes a first mark for leaning on the first step of the return direction. Remember, he took two marks in the round one direction. Cleaned the round one direction there in the grand final. He's taken a second there on the landing. That hill feel was scrappy. Busto did take two marks in uh, section three in round two. That's going to be a third. Any further drop marks and it will be a failure now for Jaime Busto, but he's only got five seconds to get to the finish anyway. This is going to be tight, and there's your fifth. It's a failure for Busto in section three, but he was so close. So very close. And if anything, that's going to give some encouragement to Tony. Well, that's a grimace. It's a smile, it's a nervous smile. Mixed with a grimace from Jaime Busto, he knows he was close to making it through there. Tony Bow hasn't failed a section so far. Will he slip up now in section three? Four marks. Ten for Busto, 12 for Marseille. Even a five here for Bow, and he would still lead Busto by a single mark. But this is the kind of section where Tony Bow tends to make hay. Marseille and Busto both failed section two. Bo took two marks out over them. Marseille and Busto both failed section three. This is an opportunity for Bo to make up more ground. So far, so clean. Outbound direction, Bo was best of anyone in round one. Dropped just a single mark. Round two direction, also a single mark and best of anyone. Quickest of any of the three so far in uh, Outbound direction here in section three. And still clean as well. Goodness me, could Bo even clean this section? No is the answer to that because he lands on the slump in the return direction. 22 seconds. That part is nicely done. Now it's a rush to the exit gate. Don't make the mistake that Busto did before him. Tony Bo takes a second mark. Left foot goes down. But he is through in section three. And ekes out a four-mark lead over Jaime Busto. 
looking down at the bike. Assistant Carlos Benena is with him as well. Tony Bow, the only rider to make it through section two, the only rider to make it through section three. Mechanical problem might force him onto his spare here. For the second half of the grand final. Bow and Fujinami just comparing notes. Current standings, Tony Bow 6, Jaime Busto 10, Gabriel Marseille 12. Marseille then still bottom of the standings, will be first out through section 4. And as I said previously, big step to open us up. I think they put a little bit of a kicker on the ground to help propel the riders forward. Marseille just taking advice now from his assistant and with the section observer watching on as well. Brand new direction for this grand final, new section number four. Marseille trails Busto by two, trails teammate Tony Bow by six. Both could rule Marseille out of contention as early as this section four if Marseille were to fail and over to play. First step, measured approach, tries to think about jumping back down when it doesn't reach him high enough, and he comes down for a five. 17 marks now the score. Marseille has only made it successfully through one section. Section number one, a hat-trick of fiascos. 17, your new progressive total. Jaime Busto next up. Section number four for Jaime Busto. Ten marks from uh, three sections so far. Back to back failures coming into this one. Can Jaime Busto manage this first step better than Gabriel Marseille before him? No, Busto doesn't even make it as far as Marseille. Down for a five. So still only two marks, the difference between Marseille and Busto, dating back to section number one. Three failures in a row for both young guns. World champion Tony Bow completed section two, completed section three. Now has nine marks in hand over Busto. But that will reduce if he can't make it up this first step. Tony Bow. Confirmed back in December. A new contract with Honda. Still riding as well as ever at the age of 37. Section four, failed by Gabriel Marseille, failed by Jaime Busto, both coming down on the first step. What has Tony Bow got to offer? Look at the height of that. Here he goes. He's up, of course he is. Tony Bow, in fine style as ever. And that's the key to this section. Now it's about keeping it cool, and that's what Carlos Benet is asking him to do here. He's got a turn. On cross plate to make. On the back tyre, landing on the front wheel. Bow is almost there. And this could almost be the finishing blow. He lands it with a 180. Tony Bow knows he's within touching distance of a first win this season. Clean in section four. Marseille and Busto both failed through there. Busto leads by nine. Uh, Bow leads by nine with only two sections remaining. Tony Bow six. Jaime Busto 15. Gabriel Marseille 17. And by the time Bo next appears on the arena floor, he could well already be your winner. Marseille certainly won't be your winner tonight. 11 marks the gap between him and his teammates. But he could take second from Jaime Busto with the right results at the end of this grand final. We've seen him snatch it before, haven't we? At the death against Busto. 
Occasionally see Busto make late errors in grand finals. Section five, another tough one. Another big step to start us off. Again, brand new for the final. Level of difficulty much higher at this stage. Here it goes. Marseille, oh, lands it on the sump. That's a big fall as well. He's lucky not to be hit by the bike. He had his arm out, half expecting it. Four consecutive failures for Marseille. 22 marks out of a possible 25. Jaime Busto with an opportunity to extend his lead over Gabriel Marseille and in fact could already confirm at least second place with the right result here but if he drops more than a single mark then Tony Bow wins extra Barcelona with two sections to spare one mark he can afford more than that he can't Jaime Busto first step of section five up he goes but he too is down. It's a five mark score for Jaime Busto in section five and Tony Bow wins extra Barcelona in 2024 with two sections to spare. Victory for Bow, which he will want to celebrate in the section and he'll want to do so by making it up this step. Nobody else has managed it. Dominant. Dominant Tony Bow in the grand final. Sections two, three, and four, all failed by Marseille and Busto, all completed by Tony Bow, and he only dropped five marks in the three of them. What about section four? Is it possible? Well, if it is, Tony Bow will manage it. Here we go. Section number five. Of this grand final penultimate section. X trial already won by Bow. But can he finish in style? Of course he can. Oh, that's just brilliant. The other two have floundered on the ascent, but not Tony Bow. It's a long section, this one as well, in the grand final. Two directions. First one completed in 17 seconds. You're kidding me. Return direction. Not much easier, and Bow goes down. What a shame. Just providing the show tonight, Tony Bow at this stage. First failure of the grand final. Still wins extra Barcelona. But I'm sure the celebration will wait now to the end of section six. A brief wave and acknowledgement of his victory. Bow 11, Busto 20, Marseille 22. There's the celebration from Tony Bow. Winner of extra Barcelona in 2024. 17th victory at this venue, 16th at World Championship level. Of course, we had the uh, odd one out in 2012 and extra Barcelona wasn't a World Championship round. So, it's a fight for second. Jaime Busto versus Gabriel Marseille. Two marks in it, all to be settled in section six. Marseille already proved himself the master of this Montessa Honda section. Salvaged his night really in round two by posting a clean in 20 odd seconds through here. Slightly different though in the grand final because the riders have to use the right lane in the second half of this section. So pretty familiar at the start, but once they've made it up into the stands, that's where they have to take the right hand direction. They're marked with yellow stickers. I'm sure you'll see them on the cameras uh, as the riders make their way up. Hopefully, of course, they make it that far. Here we go, one minute, section six. A failure for Marseille and our positions tonight are decided. Gets through this section six, then it's game on for second place. Real Marseille, the ride is obliged to drop down into that skip. It's a bit more of a hassle to make their way up into the stands this time around. Marseille, though, has made it, flies up and out. Carries a bit of momentum with him as well. Here we go, you see the riders now moving to the right channel. And round one, stickers, the blue ones from earlier in the night. Now the grand final will use the right channel, will move across back to familiar territory.
I see he's running out of time though. 10 seconds. Marseille successfully completes section six and keeps his hopes of second place alive tonight. Confidence boosting ride at the end of the evening in the Montessa Honda section for Gabriel Marseille. Next up will be Jaime Bustay. Got a forward to drop one mark to confirm second place for Tetra Barcelona tonight. Damage limitation. Tony Vaux will take maximum world championship points, winner of round one, winner of round two, and winner of the grand final. But Busto will know the championship is a long game, and indeed, that each rider will drop their worst score at the end of the season. It really is about winning X trials more than your rivals. But Busto will also be looking for some damage limitation here. Bank as many championship points as possible. Grand final, section six for Jaime Busto. One minute. So far, so good for Jaime Busto then in section number six. Looking to add another second place to his account. Familiar story, of course, last season, runner-up in the World Championship, reigning world number two. Looks as though he's going to be number two after the opening round this season as well. One mark he's got to play with for these final steps. Looks as though section six is a little bit less challenging than the, uh, the last four, which both Marseille and Busto have failed them all in a row. Busto's advantage will go back to section one. Oh, a single mark dropped. But Busto is safe with four seconds to spare and a little bit of a sigh of relief as well. We'll wait for confirmation and there should be one mark through there. Moving him on to 21 and beating Gabriel Marseille by a single mark for second place. Section one was the key there. Busto with a great performance. His only clean. Marseille posts his only clean in section six. Bose had one clean so far section four. So slim pickings for both Busto and Marseille, but the podium places are now settled. Tony Bo, your winner. Jaime Busto, second place. Gabriel Marseille takes third. So, section six is just for show for Tony Bo. One minute in his section, Montessa Honda. Confirmed with the manufacturer to the end of 2027. Quite unbelievable, really. Something of a surprise signing, but uh, you'd expect that Japanese bosses were so stunned by the departure of Mark Marquez in MotoGP that they moved to secure their other big stars. Bo won't rule out retiring between now and then, but uh, contract extension confirms security for both parties. Likely keeps the two biggest names in the sport together until the end of Bo's career now. He wants to finish with Honda, and they want him to finish his career with them as well. I'm sure they'll want him to finish as multi, multi-time world champion and just setting mark, uh, milestones that nobody else can match. This is win number 80 in the Extra World Championship for Tony Bow. Here he goes to finish in style. Tony Bow with a clean in section six, and now the party can begin. Most of it on the back wheel as well from Bo. Receives the congratulations of his assistants. Be careful in your celebration, but the over exuberant. <laughs> Tony Bo starts as he means to go on in 2024. Well, any doubt about his pre season performances? He was a little bit shaky. Kept honest all night in Chambéry by uh, Toby Martin. Suffered an unexpected failure in the first section of the final in Toulouse. But in the World Championship format, these more difficult sections, and with six sections in the grand final as opposed to the reduced number in the, uh, the trial international. Tony Bo showing the kind of form he did in the glory days. Remember, went on 
beaten for 28 X trials between 2020 and 2015, his most dominant period in the sport, which he has really controlled since 2007. Tony Bowe targeting world championship and number 18 in 2024. And in the first round of the season, he shows no signs of letting up. Repsol Honda one and three, the teammates shake hands. Marseille is reminded just how far he's got to go before he can get close to matching Tony Bowe. Big, big gap tonight for Bowe. Sections two, three, and four. He was the only man to complete them. Victory by a 10 Tony, mark margin. Congrats the 80th win, win of his career. 17 wins in Barcelona, the best way to start the World Championship, and what a ride in the final. Yeah. It's always start the season in Barcelona. Barcelona is the more special race of the season, and more important for me. And won the, won the first round, second round, with a very good ride, and the final is amazing with a very difficult section. Go on a turn, it's an amazing day for me and for the team. Thank you for to everyone to make it possible. Thanks a lot and congrats. Thank you. Not straightforward for uh, Tony Bowe. Certainly saw that he had his mechanical difficulties in the grand final as well. But what a performance. Sections two, three and four. The only rider to make it through them. Marseille and Busto dropped 15 marks in those three sections. Tony Bowe only dropped five. That was the basis for his victory. 10 mark margin over Jaime Busto. 11 marks up on Gabriel Marseille. Bo with just a single failure all night. And that's 16 sections. Finished the opening two rounds with just two marks. So there's your confirmed result. Bo ahead of Busto and Marseille. Matteo Grattarola with his best performance since 2022. Adam Ragger only fifth. His recent struggles continue. Martin salvaging sixth place after trailing in eight. We're uh, just speaking with Bayern Commission Director Thierry Michaud, former champion in his own right, of course. Bow, an unprecedented run in this sport, and with a dominant display in that grand final. There was nothing shaky about that performance from Bow. A couple of defeats in pre season, but uh, very different competition formats. Bow showing no difficulties there whatsoever. Section five, he failed, but even that one, he made it through the uh, outbound direction that none of the others did. And he probably felt that he could have done it in the return direction as well. Here's your championship points then. First night of the season, still shallow to some Nice, Geneva, Andorra La Vella, and Pamplona to come. Tony Bo takes the 20 championship points for victory in the final, plus the point from round one and the point from round two. On to your podium then, third place. Tonight goes to Gabriel Marti with 22 penalty marks. Second place to Jaime Busto with 21 penalty marks. And Tony Bow is victorious with 11 penalty marks. Third place to Gabriel Marseille. It's podium at number nine in his 23rd extra appearance. Still chasing his first victory in an X trial event. Surely that's just a matter of time, but birthday boy gets to celebrate on the podium, which looked in doubt at one stage of round two. That will be the highlight of the night for him. Second half of round two, where he salvaged third place ahead of Matteo Grattarola. It's second tonight for Jaime Busto. Busto with uh, 21 marks. Just one ahead of Marseille. Super performance in section one in which he led Tony Bow, but the night unraveled from there with four consecutive failures. 
Busto, that is podium number 16 by my reckoning in his 38th appearance. Almost half of his appearances uh, at the highest level in X trial. But nothing to like uh, enough to match the sheer dominance of Tony Bow. Win number 80 in his X trial World Championship career. Appearance number 107. So uh, win rate of 75% of all of the X trials he's competed in. Targeting world title number 18 this year. Targets can be 21 by the time he reaches the age of 41 after his contract extension to the end of 2027. Looks as though it's the photo opportunity on the podium for your top three. Extra Barcelona in 2024. Your podium trio, Tony Bo, Jaime Busto and Gabriel Marseille. Bit of a break now before we head to chalon sur seine for round number two of the season. We've got a couple in France to come before we head to uh, Switzerland in mid-season. And then after the summer break, we'll be back with Andorra La Villa and Pamplona. So a long season of extra still to come. But there's no doubt as to who the man on form was tonight in a challenging grand final at extra Barcelona. Tony Bowe fails just one section. He's victorious in front of his home crowd and starts the season as he means to go on. The title defence has begun. Number 18 is already in his crosshairs. Tony Bowe takes top spot at Extra Barcelona.